It looks that I have been living under some rock for ages because this subject, Vellum or Vellum, uh, was not known to me until only recently Vellum and embossing cool stuff can be made and this came by post today. I'm really sick. You can hear it in my voice. My nose is blocked. Hannah as well is sick. But I wanted to try it because I'm so excited and I cannot wait to see the results. So when this came I thought I want you to see my first reactions and my first ever trial. So regardless of me being a little bit sick I want you to see it. So this is a Vellum, vellum uh, that I purchased uh, and you can emboss it and create a beautiful embellishments for your project. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab some stamps, I'm going to grab some embossing powders and I will um, grab some embossing ink. Yeah. Mm, I have to admit I don't have that many stamps, although I really do like stamps. Um, but I have few, so let's try at least those few that I have. I have some flowery stamps, which are here. Let me get those out. Oh. And I think I need a block, stamping block as well. So those are lovely flowers. And this one is actually Vicky Boutin, 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 Boutin. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I say it wrong, Vicky Boutin. Uh, I think newish collection of stamps and some dice as well. Uh, so yes, in advance, as I said, I'm really sorry if I am sounding very bad, strange or whichever. Uh, as I said, I we have a flu, the whole house, we have like a hospital here. and. But I, I am so curious that I don't want to wait any, <laughs> any longer. I really, really want to try it, so that's what I'm going to do. No, I will go one by one. I have this Dover Craft embossing ink. I don't know whether it's good or bad. I hope it is good, but we shall see. Oops. Is my block dirty or what? Possibly because this is a new stamp, so why it's not sticking? <clears throat> I don't know. Emily, um, Emily. <laughs> Hannah came uh, to my studio after me. Uh, this was not planned at all. I only <laughs> am doing it because Lucas is gone to post office sending your parcels from my Etsy store. So hubby is gone sending your parcels. So I said, oh, I'm quickly going in. <laughs> uh, so that's it. And I said, that's the perfect moment to try out my... Uh, try I'm going to use maybe a different... No, I'm going to use white first, because I wanted to use white. Um, so yes, this subject is very well known for many crafters, but it seems that it's not known for me. Uh, I am such a goose when it comes to things like that. It looks... Oh, let me show you, because I will be embossing it in a second. But let me just... I have everything white around me. <laughs> Let me just grab some black. Oh, I have a box. Dum -da -da -dum. How cute, how pretty. So what I did was, I took, because maybe I'm sidetracked and I'm not saying it correctly, I'm taking embossing stamp pad, so embossing, any kind of embossing ink would work, um, embossing powders and a stamp set and a volume, volume that I purchased on the internet. Um, there's plenty volumes that you can buy. Oops, sorry for that noise. Okay, and Hannah is here, so she didn't plan, I didn't plan to have her here. So that's why I gave her some new toy that I found. New toy is always great because <laughs> it keeps occupied them for a little while at least. So that's a little... Uh, mummy is uh, be being... Uh, oh, I take different, uh, different color weights. I am really buzzing about this uh, embossing thing. I've seen something like that like that ages ago, but I never it never occurred to me what it is. So I since I know what it is now, <laughs> voila, how smart Marta. <laughs> I really wanted to try it. So look how pretty is this. It will be beautiful on the cards, I hope anyway. So, let's just put that back. Oh, my funnel tunnel is dirty, so doesn't make the best uh, doesn't make the best color when I'm putting back my ink, my embossings. 
she's playing with a game <laughs> a game that makes noises as you can obviously hear of animals oh. one more why not one more and one more okay I'm gonna close this down now and which color we're we gonna go for maybe mm, purple mm -hmm. so I'm directly putting this on top of the wet um, wet ink okay I will now put this back I have this uh, huge stress recently uh, thinking that she's gonna swallow something just because I have so many things here she shouldn't be even be she shouldn't be even here I hope I'm minding her well even though she is here in the studio with so many strange things uh, maybe I can put it directly to can I uh, not that easy <laughs> I think the small the small um, flower it, it's not really that pretty, but that's okay. As in, um, I don't see this lovely designs as such, but that's fine. I'm gonna clean this. The rest I will do in white. I think. Mhm. Mm yes, as I said, this subject is. On YouTube I have seen I didn't check videos because I just wanted to try it myself but I've seen the subject on YouTube uh, being there so yeah I'm just not I just don't know everything nobody knows everything isn't it so I have Hannah oh, she's pulling my tissues from a tissue box but that's okay that's safe <laughs> now and we need to emboss it, so we need our embossing tool. I'm gonna do it quite slow because I don't know how how my volume will react. Maybe I should use bigger heat. Okay, it does work when I have a bigger heat. <laughs> oh, how absolutely gorgeous is this? Oh wow, I love that! Now let's, let's, for this to, let's wait for this to, what's the word, oh I didn't emboss here, for it to cool it down, to cool it down, and then when everything is cooled down, we can start cutting our embellishments use small scissors I hope you can I know it's hard for you to see it now I love the transparency idea I love the semi transparency idea I in general love it remember the transparent uh, white um, white butterflies I've used in my recent project so yes I love the subject so this is something I totally enjoy so you can probably fuss cut I cut it like very near the edge or leaving some white space or whichever what are you doing Hannah? are you playing with my tissues? now look let me just bring the camera oh. still not sharp oh 
there we go I know not sure what you can see how you see it it's gorgeous let me do the white one as well oh, I think that's it <laughs> Hannah the poor pet is also sick it started from Lucas he came and he was a little bit sickish and feeling miserable uh, having a runny nose and that lasted for a day or two and then Hannah got it unfortunately the next day I got it and now Emily is saying she has th her throat sore a little bit so I don't know we may open a hospital here literally I hope not but um, I feel a little bit better today I'm sick since yesterday a little bit better today uh, we slept through the morning with Hannah which was nice sorry for that and that is the white one let me bring you closer there we go I, I'm sure it looks even better depending on the type of stamp but I'll show you the idea where I wanted this to be used let's grab just a card that I've done recently and imagine this being it's a little too Hannah oh sorry I thought she's playing with something that she shouldn't uh, it's hard for you now to imagine let me take the small one because the small one will make more sense than the bigger one I don't want to have my bigger one this time <clears throat> So I'll get the small one and you will understand what I mean. There are so many beautiful, amazing cards and things made with vellum. Vellum or vellum, I wonder. I say vellum. Um, no, Hannah. No, 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 no. No, Hannah. Leave that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. You sit down. Good girl. Nie wolno. No. Nie wolno. So, um, yeah, I rather teach them what's good, what's bad, rather than always keep them in the most safe environment for them. But studio, definitely, it's not the best, since there's so many things around. But how can I keep her somewhere far from me? She wants to be in the middle of the action, of course. <laughs> okay, so imagine this little flower. Is it sharp? Oh, there we go. And we can toggle this in there how pretty and delicate it's like a I guess it's like um what's the word like a, a lacy thing you see okay let's have that or maybe it, if this would be green <laughs> I didn't do green one I'll do the green one let's wait let's let's make the green one that will help Let's make the green one. You don't see anything, sorry. There we go. Let's make the green one. And this will definitely be nice at for our... She's playing with the rubbish bin <laughs> right now. Yes, I have this gorgeous green. Green! Say Hannah, say green. Green. I know I'm too silly. Oh, I thought this, okay, this stock, that's okay. <clears throat> that's a mess you have there, Hannah. Yes. Yes. That's a foil that definitely should not be in your handies. So I'm gonna grab that off you before you put it in your mouth. Okay, that looks gorgeous indeed. Oh, you have to kind of tap it more so the detail will be shown better. Let's see. How absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's the same kind of color like on the card here so this will be nice once we once I show you okay 
Don't burn yourself. Where's my... Oh, yeah. She's literally in the bin. Gee, gee, gee. But she's not putting anything... Oh! Uh-oh! Accident happens and you have to learn to deal with them. Yes, that's I know it's okay. It's okay. Quickly get up and no pra no panic. You're fine. I did it hurt a little bit? I know. A little bit it did. I'm just by accident fussy cut too much detail. Uh, that's okay. On on the edges. I be more precise and careful when I be doing it for a project, I guess. Uh, because there's some little lovely detail on the edges. <laughs> that's okay. Now, yes, Hannah, that's it. That's it. Now, that blue one is much nicer than, look, same stamp. You see, that's a good lesson as well to learn. Same, same stamp, but yet different. See the detail on the blue one? And on the green one so maybe I put too much ink pressed too much or I have put too much of the powder I don't know which was but interesting to know so what I would do now let's say I'll have my I have my 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 thing and let's say put it like that how is that let me show you you see how absolutely pretty is this? So it's a lovely, delicate addition to your projects that will just make that very, um, what's the word, light and very interesting. And she's running away from my studio. I better ca catch her. <laughs> you see, something along those lines. So you can use your embossing powders, create plenty of embellishments, such a nice way. Uh, so I'm gonna now finish off and <laughs> create more embellishments to show you uh, what I've done. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely loving, loving the technique. Hello, hello, I'm back to you after the weekend. I'm back to form. I'm no longer sick. Well, maybe tiny, teeny, tiny bit. Hannah is also uh, much better and we avoided doctors, we avoided any antibiotics, which I'm delighted. And now I have been practicing a little bit with my volume, volume uh, flowers, uh, embossed flowers, and I definitely have to tell you how t I, I, I discovered myself. It's no brainer of course one important thing when you put your uh, when you put your embossing powder powder on top of your embossed piece instead of going directly on top uh, a lot what i did was let me show you actually you take your you take your embossing ink uh, to the hand you have your beautiful stamp and then you're going and stamping this on your vellum Vellum is this paper. I'm not too very sure what I have been saying last in the video since I recorded the first parts a few days ago. <laughs> I didn't check it. I hope I'm not repeating myself too much. But I do know now that instead of going with my uh, embossing powder straight on top of my embossed can you see this you can it's a little shiny so it's transparent and shiny so what you do then is really you have to let me see maybe the blue one you have to go very delicate and gently and use the angle so just a touch oh there we go just a touch just a touch of embossing powder going and touching the paper, the volume, and of course tap it so the excess will go and there we go. You have beautiful detail. Let me now quickly emboss it. And then 
there you go beautiful and detail is there you can easily see that uh, so yes not too much uh, powder on top and you'll be fine now I was thinking I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't try to create something going with it, with those uh, flowers to show you how you can actually do it so my idea is to create some beautiful card for you I have those super pretty papers and uh, they are from Polish brand Pastel Garden uh, Białe Kruczki is the name of the collection and I'm delighted to work with those I have them for ages like I have loads of things for ages that I supposed to show you that I wanted to show you I wanted to share with you I bought them because I love them so much and I wanted you to see uh, so I'm gonna use some of those papers I fussy cut already uh, some beautiful embellishment and I'm gonna use that uh, with my embossed flowers mm, actually why not to go for two things <laughs> I'm gonna do a card I hope a beautiful pretty card and I hope I'm gonna do a tag as well so I need double-sided tape to attach my background my background to my card and tag I'm using a uh, double-sided tape as always for adding my papers to the back simply because it just it's clean, it's easy, it's just something that works great for me. I encourage you to, to use that, especially if you're a card maker, especially if you are doing loads cards in uh, in a short space of time, if you are, let's say, doing cards for... I hope it's sharp enough. Let me... I think it is. Mm. Especially if you're doing cards for, like, <clears throat> for markets and stuff, so... Okay, so this will be perfect here, I think. Mm -hmm. Or, or, let me see. Maybe like that, yes. Um, and the way I do it is I put my tape, then I'm lifting this up so that nothing is gonna move. Put it back, turn around, and much easier to work with my things now <laughs> there we go I have to say a pretty pretty paper helps you to create your mix <laughs> isn't it so much easier now I wonder if I'll just I, I think I'm gonna be courageous here and be a bit different and that's my second tag in a short while <laughs> I have a friend Anna she's uh, she is encouraging me to tag, mixed media tag. I have to do that as well. <clears throat> okay. So, this, you will say, why didn't you use guillotine or something? I don't know. I just, I like to do things differently sometimes. Just to encourage, uh, just to, um, just to make my life more difficult. Just to do something different. Just to, I don't know. Just, you know. <laughs> I have few flowers now and I will I think attach this somehow maybe like that I will I will so a little off center a little off of everything <laughs> uh -huh. and I think I'll need one more then I will need one more ah come on one more tape to attach this or oh, no better actually I need a 3d tape so this part can go plan oh. changing my plans to this idea okay there we go <clears throat> Actually, <laughs> I will make two layers. Do you remember that my tape was so annoying that I said that it's so bad and this... I've learned how to use it, you just have to be more precise when you when you separate in it. Like, look, oops, a little more, more precise and it's fine then. Okay, that's... I don't need that, I do, I'd use it later, okay. Perfect, and I also will use, as always, a touch of hot glue to my 
card to my paper, just a touch. There we go. Something like that. That's pretty nice, isn't it? So we have those two now. Um, we have to remember to use our vellum flowers, of course. Maybe blue as well, maybe just... <clears throat> maybe just white, I don't know in fact I think I will be experimenting here to see how things can be I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't add some chipboards I have some dream catchers here which I think could look pretty so tiny tiny dream catchers super pretty super super cute which could go there and I hope it will be nice one or two maybe two actually maybe two you need a knife to separate that from the back from the main thing there we go uh, I think I think that this frame could be looking nice there but we will see I also like those swirly things that I would definitely try to use and incorporate that in my in my card today or tag. Um, of course, the chipboards you can get some in my Etsy store. I invite you to have a look and check. There are new things in the store, new chipboards, new uh, new 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 things. So have a look. If you didn't visit it for some time, you may like what you see there. <laughs> so have a look. Okay, there we go. Dum -da -da -dum. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, more? Mm, I'll see. Okay, I put that on the side. Now, I also like this thing. It's called, what is it? Um, Caesar. Yeah, it's a little bit messy but it's nice because it gives you this extra texture to your project you can find it in sorry <laughs> you can find it in some florist shops so have a look in your local florist shop maybe now so how are we gonna build this actually I have this fussy cut element element that could be nice like that or I think like that Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe like this. Or. No. No. <laughs> try out. Try out and see which way you prefer. Which way is the good way. I think this, this, this will be good. So now I'm going to be adding my. I will add the 3D foam there on, onto those fussy cut flowers here and this will be nice I hope a little bit of hot glue never is it's never bad <laughs> it's always good no postman today that's very strange no postman today okay so this will be lovely a uh, little bit 3d now hmm I'm thinking the this chipboard as well as this now this you could use under the, f the flowers or under the under the fussy cutted flowers so it's really down to yourself how you prefer. I have also those uh, little birdie flowers and flowers from my friend Ag so I'm gonna mix those together I think although I have blue flowers here <laughs> but that's okay I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Now let's see if I can if we can <coughs> stick our beautiful delicate mm. how about this that's nice or maybe here what about if I'll just jump and change this into ah I like that I'm not too sure if I like the the circle as much as I like the little 
feathers there. Now, how could we incorporate our 3D, our uh, vellum flowers? Let's see if we could. Oh, that's nice. If we could actually use it nicely somehow. No, I think I like the white. I think it's it's getting rid of that blackish thing from the flower, uh, which it's nice. I don't know, it's 50-50 how you like. You could say to me that don't cover it up, or you could say yes, it's just looking lovely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to partially cover it, like here, I think and partially here. Now, the whole construction is moving a little bit too much as for my liking, just because I didn't stock anything and just because this little thing, this fluffy sizzle thing, it's moving as well. So I'm gonna try to glue down something so this will be much easier than to play around and start making some progress. <laughs> um, we may be forced to rip off something, but that's okay as well. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good start now. That's a good start. Okay. <clears throat> now, our beautiful vellum flower could go... Yes, I like that there. I like that there, so I'm gonna just gently add more glue and Talk a little in there, even more. There we go, I like that. And I'm gonna lift it a little bit so it will dry, the glue from underneath it will dry kind of up and it will be up for the flower as well. You will know what I mean in a minute, in a second. <laughs> okay, now I think I need to get rid of this thing because it's annoying me a tiny bit. You can, of course, change the shape of your little, of your little hay thing. There we go. No, that's not. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. I love that. So this is. Let me show you from close the, uh, the embossed flower because that's the, that's the main reason we're making this card, isn't it? How hard it is to focus my camera sometimes. There we go. Oh, you can see it well now. See, it's nice, it's semi-transparent, and it's just, in the real life, you can really see the beautiful depth and just so delicate and so, so pretty. <laughs> okay, let's finish off. Okay, perfect. Now, we can add something as well. Maybe somewhere there. Why not? Just for a change. Something a little different to be done. Mm -hmm. But I think. Do we have a small one? No, we don't, but I can certainly cut it in half and see mm -hmm. I think that's what I will do now I'm gonna cut it in half hoping that this will just look nice I need to cut that smaller a little bit yeah that's nice okay that will be perfect so I'm gonna toggle that under my paper I think I went too much. No, 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 go back. Go back. Okay, picking through, which is lovely. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Now, something about you to know that things are sticking out and you'll be asking me how to post card like that when things are sticking out well you can just put it in the cellophane cellophane that's it you don't have to have envelope if you you can just give it to someone like that you know uh, of course if you want to post it you can use bigger envelope you don't have to stick with the original one 
Now I'm trying to see if I can incorporate that somewhere because I still wish for my dream catchers to be to be there. Maybe that's too much then. Mm -hmm. One or two dream catchers, what do you think? What do you think? I'll say two. One stock in there. No, two is wrong number. Totally. No. <laughs> oh, that's even better, but no. I think we need a vellum flower. This is where the vellum flower can come handy, you know. Vellum or vellum. Vellum, vellum. There we go. It will be lovely. This is when I'm going to half my vellum flower here. Okay, there we go. Now I will also maybe attach some there. How is that? Or this one? Mm -hmm, I'll see. Now I'm going to maybe move my dream catcher there. Oh, there we go. I think that's better now. I think that's a little bit better. So yeah, I'm going to attach the vellum flower where it's supposed to be and lift it for a little while so this will be nice and sticking out mm -hmm. you see then even if you want to press it down it will still stand out so that's that's the nice thing about it so I'm not even fully covering my flower because you can still see it a little bit it's peeking through the trans semi-transparent vellum and it's also peeking through because it's lifted so that's a nice nice feature and maybe my dream catcher should be really there I think so I really do think so now see it's a mixture of trials you kind of have to go with it several times and see where exactly you like your things to be and you can oops change your mind in the during the process and that's fine that's perfectly fine if you do if you do that could we add one more vellum flower or will it be too, too much oh I like that or here or wow totally under that flower under that flower or oh that's nice I think that's that's nice look picking there oh that's so actually pretty look uh, let me there, there we go. Like this, it's nice. Is it very bright on bright on my desk today? I hope you can see it well. And like that, I think that's nicely finishing. It's just nice, delicate touch to to be done. I like that. I be adding vellum flowers to all my creations now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I love that. I love, love, love that. There we go. That's pretty, pretty. I love it. Now we have some small flowers as well, but no, I think we can stuck with what we have now because it's gorgeous. I may need a glue, a glue, a little bit of glue to the glue down my chipboard so it wouldn't, it wouldn't just break. So I have a fear that this may break indeed. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this could hold it now nicely. Okay, actually, same for this one. Same for this one. A little bit of hot of, of glue. I usually don't do it, but this time this particular chipboard is extremely delicate on those tiny teensy teensy tiny tiny lines that I rather make sure that this will be just looking good and not get demolished there we go so voila I have very strange looking isn't it but I love it and look at the vellum flowers how pretty and delicate and let's bring camera cl 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 closer to you. Sure. Oh, there we go. 
pretty pretty very strange in colors we have some greens we have some white some blue some uh, cream as well a uh, very strange mix like a l very delicate nice pastels but I like that out of my comfort zone a little bit I think in a way or at least something I've used to do it not recently so I like that I really do I think we can definitely <laughs> put the camera back onto you and then I can if I get the sharpness I there we go I move down to our tag let's finish off our super pretty tag super super pretty pretty tag that was silly <laughs> don't listen don't listen <laughs> will we go for our hay again <laughs> okay this I think this will be much easier to work around. I don't know why, but I think it will. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna grab my beautiful semi-transparent flowers. I love them. I love them, love them, love them. <clears throat> no. You see, the white one speaks to me always much more. I'm not too sure if I want that flower. I think it's a little bit too much happening there. I'll see if I have... I have this one, which is in blue, but this should easily match to our make. I think so. I think it will be lovely. So that's what I will do. Now I'm gonna attach my no, will I attach the vellum or will I go with the flowers first? I go with the flowers first and keep that hay in place. <laughs> so I'm gonna add some glue on the back of those gorgeous flowers. Ag's flowers are beautiful, beautiful, my friend's flowers. She makes them totally gorgeous. Okay. Uh huh. Or maybe I move down and move this a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know if this is not too big. Exactly. See? Yes, see? Look at the difference. Look at the difference. It's not a massive difference, but there is this something about feeling about the project. You see? You know what I mean? like it can't be overwhelming the whole piece so yeah small small things sometimes you have to look around and and change things around and see if you can do anything better or nicer or whichever <clears throat> now oops i just ripped the flower i'm so sorry i hope i'm not really wrong here but unfortunately i do have to have my flower unfortunately because I just won't be able to fit it anywhere and even so see in this case I should have been doing my vellum flower before <clears throat> before sticking this down so you know what I'm gonna just rip it off yeah that's what I'm gonna do so there was no need to, no need to have my my uh, vellum flower, but that's okay because I will definitely use it somewhere else, even maybe for this uh, project still. It's okay to rip off your piece as well. That's fine. It can happen. I'm gonna lift my vellum, so this will stand out a little bit, and that that'll be gorgeous then. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Our answer where to add, uh, add the vellum flower. What about here? I think it would be nice as well here. Hmm. Yes, but... Again... No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just cut it in a nicer shape. There we go. 
so that 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 way I'm not gonna feel bad that I have cut it because it's still nice okay now you're not gonna believe it I'm going to dentist again today <laughs> how crazy this sounds <laughs> but I am I'm a little bit terrified but that's what it has to be done it has to be done it has to be done <laughs> okay now <clears throat> excuse me there we go I like that now it's not finished but we're nearly there pretty I think it's super pretty super super pretty there we go <clears throat> We have one more vellum, which we could add here to maybe create and, and to show the different uh, layers. I think so. I think it would be lovely. <clears throat> Am I losing my voice? <laughs> Am I losing my voice? My, my, my throat did sore while my nose was blocked, so maybe I, I'm back to talking too soon. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I still wish to make the hole here and make um, put some put some uh, lovely thread or string or yeah, string will be perfect. I think my dad's string always works the magic. <clears throat> there we go. So. Here it is. Uh, I'm very random now with this stringy thing. <laughs> there we go. I'm not really... Um, I have no knowledge how to do it properly. I'm doing it just how my hand goes and tells me what to do. So I'm totally random now. that's fine oh I know what I can do I can on the back just glue it down so this will just be nice and it's not gonna be moving much now some people on the back are doing the wishes and stuff on the tag and you asking me as well where will I what will I do with the tag you can treat it exactly the same way as a card it's just a different shape and that it's a very pretty thing that you can use and add to gifts or be a gift itself lottery ticket attached to that or or just attached it attach it to a pro to a gift so whatever you feel like okay i think we are done i will add some 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 maybe liquids some pearls just to finish it off I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't add that, right? <laughs> okay, that is super nice. Okay, maybe one more here. Okay, and same for this one. A little bit. This will just lift the whole project and make it very even. Voila! We have a card finished and a tag and we have some vellum flowers uh, embellishment at adding to your projects. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope I opened up a new chapter in your crafty life because this opened up the whole new thing for me. I only recently saw it and I just fell in love and as I said I must have been living hiding under the rock that I haven't seen this beca before because I, I, I think I'm a little behind so if you have any awesome ideas for me to check out for you please do. You actually do send me email, um, links or to things uh, oftentimes or photos so thank you so much for that. Yes I'm gonna wrap up at that. I'm gonna check on Hannah because she's still asleep. I didn't and hear her being waking up so I better check on her. Thank you so much for your time, for your comments, sharing and supporting my YouTube channel and myself and that's much appreciated. So 
have fun creating, exploring about uh, vellum embossing and I hope you will uh, let me know what you think. Yeah, bye. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. See you later.